Hello everyone, this is uh, Didier Wenger from uh, Switzerland. I'm together with my colleague Oliver Graf and we will show you a little bit of a demonstration of Prism Pro. Uh, what we will do today is first start by designing a custom report and automate it. Uh, and then we will move on to running a little what if scenario in terms of capacity planning. And finally, we'll finish it with a display of uh, how we can do custom alerts and also automatic VM right sizing using crossplay. So without further ado, let's go to the lab. Here we are in our Swiss lab. We have two clusters here reporting to this Prism Central instance. And I will straight go into the report section and I will create a new custom report, which I will uh, entitle my the report, which is something customers usually ask me, how do I get a report every Monday morning at 8 a.m. when I get to the office? And they want to know, for example, uh, their uh, cluster summary information. So here we have a, a whole bunch of fields that will be populated in a table format. I will choose to sort my clusters by that have the most number of VMs running. And I will also put a couple of information regarding CPU memory and storage runway. I will now schedule this report to run on a weekly basis. So I want to receive it every Monday at let's say 7.54 a.m. That will be close enough to eight. And I want to know, I want to have the last week of uh, reporting and data. I'll email that report uh, to myself and just click add and I will choose to save it and run it now. So because I'm running it now, it's asking me again for a name. And I will choose the same parameters. So I want PDF attachment. Yes, I'm in this time zone. No need to actually specify additional recipients. I'm there already in the list. So I will just run the report. We can see confirmation has been saved. Uh, it's going to run weekly. And if I now switch to um, my Outlook, there it is. I have received it, my weekly report. And it's showing me exactly what I wanted. So my list, list of my clusters sorted by VM count um, and a couple of information regarding a cluster runway. So that's it, really nice and easy for a custom report. Now, if I go back to my cluster, what I will do is I will switch to capacity planning. Um, so in this example, I have two clusters, everything's running fine. I have plenty of resources for the next year to come. But I know that um, we have been discussing about uh, adding some VDI to this test environment. So storage is fine. I think CPU is fine, although it's probably the most uh, constrained resource that we have in this cluster. Um, as long as I don't exceed the, the red mark here, I'm still above the N plus one resiliency. Uh, so that is fine. However, I know we have set this VDI project coming up. So I would like to be to have enough resources for let's say the next six months. Um, and usually for for um, VDI, I will go with a six to one um, vCPU to P core uh, over commit ratio, I will save this configuration. Um, I will select my cluster number three and just verify it kept my information yes it did and this is my existing workload here so i'm consuming a certain amount of gigahertz uh gig of ram and tib of storage and on top of that i plan to add uh, about 20 uh, sorry about 20 vdi vms it's going to be citrix on hv uh, since this is going to be for SEs, it's most probably power users. Uh, it's going to be 15 of us. And 
I know it's coming 1st of June. So let's just go and save it. So according to the simulation and based on the existing trend, I'm still fine for the next six months. However, it looks like if I go and switch for 12 months, I might be running out of resources towards um, the end of those 12 months. So CPU, and this is only for CPU, memory and storage seems to be fine. So the CPU is one of the metric I will need to monitor. So this is a quick example of how we can run a what if scenario in capacity planning. And now I'll pass the ball over to my colleague, Oliver. So let's do a bit of VM right sizing with the Prism Pro features playbooks. Well, first I need to have a VM. I already created one, so it's called Distress VM. I click on Distress VM and go to metrics. I concentrate actually on the CPU usage, so we'll do the action there and click on alert settings. On this create alert policy, I will actually create the alert policy that I need. Important, this policy name. So I will set the trigger to 50%. As soon as I reach this, it should actually create this alert and it should do it immediately. I click save. Now I actually use my Prism Pro features, the playbooks. I go to playbooks and I see I have two playbooks that I need, the stress VM that actually stresses my Linux VMs we see afterwards and the fixed CPU contention that actually triggers this event that is created that I just actually created. So I will actually update this one and search for it, stress, there it is, I click on it, this will actually use this alert policy I created and it will do the action that it adds one vCPU till it reaches four and it actually resolves the alert without any code okay so I save and close and enable it good now I actually do some stress on my VM so I go to VM again actually tick this and go to run playbooks. I use my stress VM CPU playbook that is created and let it run. So it will really stress my CPU. And you see it's one CPU that's getting stressed now as well as you see here, one CPU. This will run for about five minutes and then we should see that automatically an additional CPU has been added and you see two here. So you see on the basis of this trigger, it does actually add automatic a uh, vCPU that I actually set in the playbook. And if you check the alerts, I go to activity alerts, you see the alert has been created and actually automatic being resolved. And when we go to operations and playbooks, I go to fix CPU contention and I go to play, I actually see that this playbook has been run. So that's really how easy it is to do an automatic VM right sizing in any kind of trigger that has been set. So well, just do a little recap of this Prism Pro session. Firstly, we actually design and customize a report and automate this report. The second part was just running a what-if scenario and using the capacity planning and the forecasting. And lastly was the customer alerts and automatic VM right sizing using the crossplay feature. So using really playbooks to automate without any code some VM right sizing or some alerts.
Didi and me will thank you for listening and just to mention a special thank you to Fabri Scripts who actually delivered some scripts that we used on this session.